Alright, welcome everybody. Uh, this is going to be a little bit about the butterfly contest, or butterfly hunt. So what you want to do is you want to touch the butterfly under here, and you just go around, try touching the blue butterflies. And you'll be able to tell that you hit the right one because it will drop the chest. You can see those are red butterflies there. Just continue on touching the blue butterflies and not the purple ones, or red ones. The blue butterflies... Oh, I touched the red one. You touch a red one, you get into a battle. The blue butterflies will drop a little treasure chest. You can't pick them up or anything, so don't worry. Uh, yeah, so just touch the blue ones, avoid the red ones. It's as simple as that, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, the trick to this game is the time limit. If you get into a battle, you lose about one second. If you... Yeah, you lose about one second on the timer, and... The trick with the timer is that... Changes, depending on... What time you do this game. Like, if you do the game when it... First becomes available... I failed there. If you do the game when it first becomes available, you get about 40 seconds... To do it. And you get a... Your prize is an Ether, and an MP Sphere, I believe. But that's the easiest. Once you do the Sphere Morph battle... So let's try this again. Let's try to actually touch the damn thing. There we go. Once you get into battle with the Sphere Morph, it will change, and you'll lose, it'll go down to 30 seconds. That's the one I'm currently doing right now. Oh, I got into a battle, damn it. It's hard to tell where they are. Uh, the camera angle isn't the greatest. Now you can't actually run from these battles, you have to go through them. No. They're only slightly stronger. Yeah, so you lose a bit of time. The other thing is, ugh, see, like, I lost a lot of time right there. I'm trying to hit them because of the, the angle's kind of awkward, so you can't tell. Oh, see, I hit him. Like, he, he, I can't tell which angle he's on. I don't think you can run it. No? Oh, I guess not. Alright, well, okay. Just take him out. Ugh. Basically, let me start over. When you touch the butterfly, the screen goes dark, all enemy counters are disabled, and the goal of the thing is to touch all the blue butterflies. When you touch a blue butterfly, a treasure chest drops. When the treasure chest chest drops, I lost that one obviously. When the treasure treasure chest drops, you can you know you've hit it, so you continue on running. If you hit a red one, a force battle will ensue. You can't escape from them, and you'll lose about one second off your timer due to the awkward angle of some of these. It's hard to tell where the butterflies actually are. Like, see, I can't tell where those red ones are. I got through that one. You just see the little treasure chest dropping. And get the last one up here. So there, we won that one. This one's a little simpler. Now all, all enemy uh, encounters are disabled, whether you win or lose on this part. So you come up to your chest here, chest here open it up, and you get an elixir. That, I believe, will be an ether the first time you do this. And as I was saying before, there's three different times you do this. 
and each one gets correspondingly harder and harder to do. This one here is slightly harder. I practice this one a little more. Yeah, each each uh, each course gets harder and harder as you go, and uh, the treasure gets better and better. Oh. See, I couldn't see him there. I couldn't tell where he was or where I am either. The the first one is an Ether and, and Peace Sphere. The second one is an Elixir and Mega Elixir, I believe. Two Mega Elixirs. And the third one is two Teleport Stones and yeah, uh, the Saturn Sigo, which is used to unlock Kamari's secret weapon. Um, now the secret weapon, or not secret, but ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon thing is is very difficult to do. So I figure what I'll do is I'm I'm just gonna post. Um, introductions to the mini games, show you how to play them, and then you guys can kind of play them on your own. Cause you, like the lightning lightning dodger, you don't need me to dodge. Uh, you don't need me to dodge 200 lightning bolts to show you. I mean, it's easy. You press the button, you dodge. It's not hard. Uh, if I ever get to the point where I actually do dodge 200 lightning bolts. I'll record it and show you the outcome in a separate video. But I mean, it's, it's too much time for me to actually go through all that. So I'm just gonna like like this one here. It's, it's a little easier to get the Sigil. Like certain ca characters are, have easier time to get them, but. It takes a long time. Like Waka's is really easy to get. You just win. It shows up randomly after winning many of the tournaments. But the problem is, is you have to play hours upon hours of tournaments. Ah, missed. Pretty much, if you miss something, you're pretty much lost. You you, you don't get any time to screw around. Yeah, Waka's, it, it takes a lot of time, and I can't show them all, I'm not going to show them, hold off all the other LPs I want to do, simply to show you that one thing, then concentrate on that. I mean, I, I don't have the time. So yeah, I figure what I'm just going to do is I'm going to show you the introduction to how to play the games. And then eventually, if I get the good prizes, I'll show them to you guys. But I mean, you don't need me to show you. Oh. You don't need me to show you the good prizes. As I said, right now I'm doing the middle one. This one happens after you, um, you beat Spheromorph. It goes to the second level, and then the final level is right after you acquire the airship, and that's the one where you'll get the CL. Ah, oh, he just disappeared. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get this to show it to you. I, I think you get the gist. It's, it's not complicated. I just don't want to be spending... I've never spent a lot of time playing side quests in the game. I don't particularly care for them. Uh, some of them are fun, like the Blitzball one is kind of fun, but I've if I play it, I'd rather just play on my like good game. Where I have my characters built up more. It's more fun there. I'm not going to start from the beginning doing Blitzball every game. See, I'm walking through that guy and he screws me over. Because of that, I'm not gonna get it. It's hard to... See, he screwed me over there. If I didn't... If I had gotten him right away, it would've worked. But anyways, I'm only gonna do this till like 15 minutes. I get it, I get it, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. As long as you guys get the idea. 
that's all that really counts. The other thing also that helps is knowing where the butterflies are gonna be, like not there. It also helps to have a good controller that responds a lot better than this one. Yeah, that's another reason why I don't... I tried the dodging lightning thing in my controller. It doesn't respond as well as I would like it to. Like, I think maybe I'm just used to the... the newer controllers. I'm just used to the sensitivity of the newer controllers. And this one, I, I don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like the characters respond as well as I'm used to. So I think I've just played too. I've been playing too long on newer console controllers. Like that's why I wish I had my old PS3 before you know I got the yellow light of death. Is because the old ones played PS2 and PS1 games, and I mean uh, I could have done all my. Alpine on one machine, but... Oh well. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, where was he? Usually he's right there, but no, he wasn't there this time. Well, I think I'm gonna do it once more. Whether I get it, I get it. I don't. I don't. But I think you guys get the the gist of it. So we'll try this one last time and I'll give you kind of a go around of this on how to get to it. Alright, so there's going to be one to the left here. Then you go to the right to avoid the right one. Back to the left. Don't waste time. You want to kind of cut a bit at the very south. There's a blue one. Head through the middle to avoid the two. Head up to avoid that one stick to the right, then go on along the outside, stick to the right again to avoid that guy, stick to the far right uh, to avoid those two, and then there's another one just south of there. Uh, I guess I got enough time for one more. I'm not going to talk for this one, I'll just frickin' do it. See how well I do. I did get it. I did practice it and I did get it, but. It's very close and you can't miss a single one. Also, sometimes the butterflies are randomly placed. So sometimes you'll, you might miss, like one might not be where you planned it to be. There we go. So I got it. There we go. Open it up there. Two Mega Alexis. So, there we go folks. That's the butterfly game. So remember, avoid the red ones, as they'll cause enemies to attack you and you'll lose a minute and touch the blue ones to get your treasure chest. That, that's all there is to it. If I do it later and I manage to get the CL, I will show you. That's what I'm going to do with a lot of them. And I'll, uh, uh, like I said, I'll just do introductions for a lot of them. And if I get the CL, I'll show them to you. Have a good day. Bye.